Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. And today we are going to build the famous Grand Piano Lego set. This is set 21323, and this is over 3,600 pieces. And I have actually never seen this set in person, but uh, this past week I was able to see it at my local Lego store. So I just had to grab it. So today I'm gonna build this. I'm gonna attempt my first time lapse and see how that goes. And I am very excited to share this experience with you guys. So here are all the bags that are taken out of the boxing. Um, as you saw in the previous time lapse, there is the main box and then there's a smaller box and they usually do this for extremely large sets. A um, couple of things, there are some loose plates, uh, three of them to be exact. And then there's the power brick, the battery pack and the motor. It does not include the actual batteries, but that's where you would put it and then connect it to do the playable features. I did unwrap the manual. Um, and I don't really use manuals. And the reason why is it takes an extreme amount of real estate uh, when you open this up and try to read it along. I just usually have a laptop and uh, I read the PDFs. And uh, another advantage of that is when you start seeing very similar colors like tans, browns, golds, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. And a lot of times you'll, I, I mix up the pieces like a black for a dark gray, so. I like to use a PDS because the color contrast is a little bit better. So for today's video, I'm going to do a quick build and a review at the end. Um, there are some milestones that uh, after you complete a certain amount of bags, it does give you a little milestone. So I might, you know, spread this over a couple of days and then just build one section at a time. Um, and then hopefully I'll show you the end product and show you guys how I feel and how it looks and um, what I think about it. So stay tuned. So here's bags one through three. Um, man, it was a tedious build, um, but it seems like it's, uh, I could see some of the functionalities. So I can see the little pistons move up. I believe that's gonna just be the keys. Um, there are the gear mechanics uh, that is tied to the power brick. So the power brick's in place along with the motor and the sensor. So this is bags one through three. Um, it seems like it's coming along pretty nice uh, and it is a tedious build um, and I'm going to have to take a little quick break and then we'll resume building the rest of this.
All right, so here is bags four and five. And as you can see, we've added quite a lot. Um, we added the wooden part up top, um, all the uh, circular metal accents, and then all the string attachment points. We also added the round curvature wall. So this thing is definitely looking like a monster. So that is bags one through five. Let's see where the next one takes us. So that's bag seven through nine, and it is coming together pretty well. And you might have seen a hand change, and that was my sister that wanted to build it, so I let her, and um, it was nerve wracking, but she eventually finished it off. So um, this is the update. It looks like the front panel is on, the strings are mostly on, and then we will move on to the next phase of this build. so bags 10 and 11 are also complete um the last update i've added the curvature here and then the legs and then the working pedals um you can see it all moving up and down and then the first set of keys and uh it's not complete but you can definitely see the mallets and i think it's a really realistic looking um build so uh, I believe the next few builds or the next few bags is going to deal with more of the keys and then I should have the full keyboard and I should be able to just insert it here. So we're making progress. Alright, this is going to be the last update before the final reveal. Um, obviously, we have added the case and then all the keys are in. Um, and so the last uh, few bags are going to be the chair, the complete details, and then the lid. And then we will go into the full review of this piano. But so far, this build is pretty epic. The techniques are pretty crazy. So... Last stretch.
So finally finished the build and this is the grand piano. And I think that this build was amazing. Um, it was a lot of construction and building techniques that I haven't used before, um, but it was pretty straightforward uh, and it looked, it looks really awesome. So one thing I wanna start with is the chair. As you can see, uh, it's a pretty cool looking chair. Um, it does have a scroll feature where it does elevate. Um, and so that's pretty cool with the playability if you wanted to adjust the height uh, for something or somebody to play this. If I move that to the side and get to the piano, it is just a beast of a build. And I think it just looks really awesome and has a really nice feature to it. So a couple features that I want to start with is if you look at the face of the piano, you can lift it up and play the keys. Uh, the keys are pretty realistic. Um, unfortunately, it does not lay level because the mechanics inside for playing the music uh, doesn't allow this to lay straight flush. Um, so maybe there is a way to make this reset, but unfortunately you'll have a little bit of discrepancy between the leveling surface. Something that's really cool is you'll see the Lego logo here. It really looks nice. And yeah, so let's take you inside of the Lego set. All right, so this is the grand piano. Um, I propped up the lid uh, just to give it um, more of that grand piano final look. Uh, beyond that Christmas tree, I think it's a really nice look. And let's take a look in deeper. So again, uh, there's the music stand and it does include a six by six uh, tile. This is all printed. I believe that is the creator of the set, Donnie Chen. Um, props to you, this was amazing. And on here, they actually left a giant gap so that you can put your cell phone here when you do play the Bluetooth app um, on your smartphone device. Let's move on to the interior of it. So it looks like Lego really spent the time and detail uh, in fulfilling the details um, of the, the acoustics, the, the strings, the bolts. I love that silver stud. Um, makes it look like real bolts that are lined all across. And then you have these um, components. I honestly don't know what they're called, um, but they are part of the, the piano. And if you open up the case, which looks awesome, you do have the buttons, or the keys rather, sorry, and you can play them individually without sound. And that will uh, go hand in hand with uh, these pieces. Um, also, I, I don't know if you can see, but you'll have little mallets in there that do push them up when you press the key press. Um, and then obviously you have your little uh, stand where you can just put it down or put it up um, and that'll correspond straight with the, um, the Lego uh, lid. So yeah. And then obviously, depending on the piano, um, you can put the lid down. Uh, you don't really put the lid down when you put the lid open. Um, yeah, I think the, the build is really solid uh, for what it is. Um, I was a little uh, hesitant on buying this and looking at this in the beginning when it first released, but after looking at it in person, it was just an awesome build and I had to have it. Something about the pedals is only the right pedal is functional. These are faux or fake. Um, and so you can see that the mechanism that pushes up and it pushes it um, so that you can cut your uh, sound short in a real piano. So if I take this piano and give you a little bit of a 360, um, it, this is a extremely sturdy build. And you'll see a little bit of light peaking there. And that is because this is where the power feature is. So the power brick is located inside, um, nice and tucked away, where all the motors are needed uh, to play the keys by themselves 
um, when the music is playing. So I love this because it looks really realistic. I love the uh, the turnable wheels that allow free rotation throughout. And overall, I just think that this set is extremely beautiful. And I honestly have no complaints. I have no regrets purchasing this set. Um, yes, it is a little bit expensive, but I think this was just the perfect build to um, to have during the Christmas uh, holidays. So for the final feature, it is the power function play. And you can see the keys moving on its own uh, that is synced up to the Lego Power app. So that is gonna do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and please consider subscribing for awesome content. Otherwise, I hope you and your loved ones have a great, safe and Merry Christmas. Thanks guys, see ya in the next year.